All right, there we go. Hello, talking to no one so far. That's fine. Oh man, hello. What's up, Shuey? How are you? Oh man, this is always the most awkward part is waiting and waiting and waiting for people. Hello, Jim. What's up? Hey everyone, how are we doing? Hanging in there? Doing our best. I'm gonna give people a couple minutes to get in here. Got a couple. I know once I add Dee Dee, they're just gonna come flooding in because everyone knows that she's the real attraction here tonight. Uh, for those of you joining, I uh, just wanted to give you a heads up as to what this is and then I'll bring Dee Dee on. Uh, I announced on Friday that I'm gonna be releasing an album coming up here. Uh, I'm landing on a date soon, so I'll let you know that, but it'll be six songs um, and uh, they're all live, acoustic one take tracks. Um, and, uh, and someone just said, I'm here for you. That's very kind. Uh, but anyway, they're one take acoustic tracks. We tracked them on Sunday night and I've been working on the videos and stuff. But the reason, uh, that I did this is because I want you guys to know all of those that are involved in the project. And, uh, Dee Dee actually came on before just about anyone else. Um, and so without further ado, I'm going to bring, uh, Dee Dee into this chat. Oh, she's unable to join. What does that mean? Let's try that. <gasps> Dee Dee, try to do it again. I think you, why is it broken? This is a good start. You're doing a really good job. Here we go, waiting. It didn't tell me that it broke yet. What? Yo. Oh, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Third time's the charm. I like. like Dude, I like texted you because I didn't see your request sign. Oh, and, no. I admit, and you know my anxiety lights <laughs> up, so that went up real quick. <laughs> I have it on Do Not Disturb so that text don't come through, so I wouldn't have. I I'm mean, you knew, we, you knew we were coming on, right? I know. Yes, I knew. I knew. I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? Rookie. <laughs> How Rookie are you? Status. I'm good. Living yeah. Life. Yeah. Uh, I'm so jealous of you because you live semi near to a beach. I do not. Um, false. So... False. We actually okay. are now an hour away compared to 25 minutes. Sure. I'm like three hours. So an hour's close <laughs> in my in my but, terms, Yeah, that but... is true. No, it's... Uh... 25 minutes was nice last year, but now we're closer to the city. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. We'll get to your love of the city later yeah. but um what have you been up to quarantine uh so for those of you that don't know Dee, Dee uh is a professional soccer player the reason i have her on here is because she's also a photographer but uh what's been going on because you you're technically in market for soccer but no soccer is technically happening yet um so what have you been doing to stay busy and uh yeah what's that been like um well my dad has become my best friend. <laughs> um, no, we actually have to continue working out. We have yeah. um, uh, we have our program that our strength and conditioning coach sends out, so we're still doing that every day yeah. um, until we hear kind of more news. But we are actually back in training this week. I don't mm -hmm. know if you guys saw that. New York approved it, New Jersey area as well. So yeah. we are back in training this week, which is exciting. Tomorrow will be my first day. Mm -hmm. And I'm ready to not have to, like, run anymore. Yeah. That's all we've been really doing. <laughs> so I'm, I'm pretty stoked right now. Yeah, so uh, those of you that don't know, she's a, she's a keeper. So um, no offense, running is, like, the thing that I was always like, if I played soccer, I'd be a keeper because I don't run. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, but, um, yeah, I was on a, a Zoom call today, and I was talking to someone, and they were like, what, you got a professional soccer player taking, like, helping you with songs and said, no, dude, she's a photographer. So tell us a little bit about how, how you got into photography. Corey just joined. Corey is designing the album. He'll be on next week. But What's that? Um, tell us a little bit about how you got into photography. And um, yeah. Um, so I feel like I've always kind of had a love for it. Yeah. Um, when I was in high school and college. But 
I never fit, really took the jump until probably about two years ago. Um, mm -hmm. It became, you know, a, a therapy to me. And I think that is very important, the mental side of things. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of, that's where I got my outlet. It was a way for me to kind of share my story through one, my editing, Mm -hmm. um and then as well as share other people's stories so that is the main reason why i do what i do i love to be able to tell a story through a still image um so it's just it's therapeutic it's calming put your headphones on go yeah. on a long walk and just i probably there was one day i remember i went on an hour and a half walk two hours yeah um, just, just around new york and mm -hmm. i probably had one song on and that song just played through replay. Like, <laughs> I just don't get out. <laughs> That's and a I good guess, song. It was NF, wasn't it? Pardon? It was, it was NF, wasn't it? It was not NF. It was <laughs> actually, like, I'm on this, like, 80s new school kind of vibe. Oh, okay. So okay. I, I think it was The Midnight or something. It was one okay. of, um, which, by the way, everyone needs to go hear The Midnight. Um, they're good. So, yeah, it's just, like, I let it play and play and play. And then finally, when I was done walking, I was like, wow, I have left this song on the entire time. That's when you know it's good is when you don't realize it till after an hour and a half of playing it. It's like, that was the same song. Oh, for sure. I, yeah. like, black everything out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Actually, along those lines, so when we went, so the first time we shot was in New York. Uh, yeah. And um, that feels like I'd, so I'd, long ago, by the way. <laughs> I know. Well, I mean, everything feels like time doesn't exist everything. right now. Like, like so this that's morning a... feels so long ago. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I think it was like in the fall. But I remember looking at my Apple Watch after the day and I was like, why does my body hurt? Like, why? Like, why does everything hurt? And it was like, it was like, I think I did 15 miles that day. It wasn't just from us. Like, we walked around for a long time. But then yeah. even after that, like, man, New York is so great because you just get lost and uh, and just keep going. So. I walked, there was one time I walked from Brooklyn into Times Square, like from Dumbo into yeah. Times Square. And yeah. my feet were yeah. not having it the next day. Yeah, <laughs> that's the first thing that happens. Is And I was wearing Converse that day. So I had like blisters, not to get like, no one needs to know this, but like it was bad shoe choice. <laughs> <laughs> not saying anything negative about Converse yeah. because I'm all about that. Uh, so. Same, but not quite 15 mile walking shoes. Uh, so I don't know if I ever told you this, but uh, the way that I actually came to know about you and your photography was um, I went to Portland to visit a friend and became friends weirdly through Twitter like people do uh, with a social media manager for the Thorns and ended up at one of their games that happened to be Sky Blue playing against them in Portland, which I'm like, I came the whole way across the country to see a New Jersey team play, but whatever. Uh, and oh, so, yeah, because you yeah. were on the message me, be like, yo, I'm from so-and-so area. Yes. And I was like, yes. you really did it. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> I did like the, um, I did like the fangirl thing and like followed like the players and whatever. And then I like followed you for a little bit on, on social media. And then you popped in and said about your photography. And I was like, oh, that's cool. But then I saw it and I was like, wait a second. Like, this is actually good. Like, it, it wasn't oh, just great. like, yeah, it, you know, some people are like, oh, I take pictures now. And I'm like, do you? <laughs> uh, but man, the thing that I loved about your photography and you alluded to it uh, when you were talking about like telling people stories is it was like, it's, um, it's really like authentic in that like you don't brighten things up. I think a, a really popular thing in social media is to brighten things up and to make it look cheery and happy. But like your photography is so real and it like captures, I know you did a lot of like candids um, when you're traveling with uh, your national team and everything, you're all countries, you know, you're doing yeah. these awesome candids. And I remember uh, seeing them and I was like, that's exactly what I feel. That's what my music is trying to portray. And so I messaged you and like, you were pretty immediate in your response. And I was like, okay, cool. This is, this is awesome. <laughs> I try um, to be quick to respond to like everyone, but I mean, yeah. at times I hate saying this. I need time for myself. So. Oh, <laughs> we all do. We all do. Uh, but yeah, so then we met up in uh, New York. And one thing I really appreciated about you and um, is you actually had, had asked me to write out my story and like what I wanted, like what, what I was carrying and like what the music was about. And uh, you are probably one of like a handful, weirdly enough, of people that know everything about like my story and everything that yep. I struggled with. 
And uh, that was like so cool to me um, because you could have easily just come in and taken photos and like left, yeah. uh, but you really like captured that. So um, I don't know if you want to speak into that at all or like if you want to just talk about that New York experience or like <laughs> the 15 uh, mile and, journey, <laughs> the 15 mile journey, the maybe trespassing journey in that weird basement that was on the left. Okay, so fun little fact about me I like to I'm all about industrial moody rustic buildings things that look creepy mm -hmm. um yes I don't know if it was open to the public but we went in the door but it was, was open. open and it was a sign <laughs> yeah and how well did those photos turn out they were so great and literally all of them I think that are ending up on the final pieces of the project are from that shoot like i'll use the dc ones too but like yeah see those were so if dope we got arrested then that's totally fine so we got arrested almost in dc too <laughs> i just like creepy weird yeah. places like yeah does it scare me a little bit absolutely but um to answer your question i think the biggest thing for me is um to be a little bit upfront, I've never really been vulnerable. So mm -hmm. in order to be vulnerable, I think I can kind of see through someone and be able to, like you said, see their story. Um, the reason why I asked you to write your story, your background, and where this album is coming from was because I need to, needed to portray those photos into yeah. you. Yeah. Um, and I don't, I think as a photographer, the thing is I can't just go into a shoot and be like, okay, I'm just going to take pictures. At least yeah. in my opinion, I like to get to know people. I think this is the way you build relationships. I want to yeah. get to know someone. And I mean, it's as simple as that. I just, yeah. anyone I shoot, um, even if it's for a bridal shower that I had an opportunity to do, I asked for their background still. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just like little things like that. I mean, I'm trying to build a relationship with people. I don't want to just come in and be like, all right, let me shoot your photos. Okay, bye. I'll send these through email. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Um, so it's all about t telling a story. And the reason why my photos are dark is because I think at times it's, it's okay to be vulnerable. And it's okay to say, hey, I'm having a bad day. Like, and yeah. I think in the society, it's unfortunate that I feel like sometimes we kind of hide it because yeah. we're like, I don't want people to think I'm emotional. I don't want people to think, um, you know, I'm weak. You're not. Mm -hmm. um, I think being vulnerable is a beautiful thing. And yeah. if I can allow you to be open with me and be comfortable, that is my goal. Yeah. I, uh, and that it's crazy that you say that because that's stuff that I all saw through your photos before I met you, you know, like that's like, I saw that in, in what you capture and that's what drew me to you and to your photography. And uh, I love that. There are two stories from New York. One is like oh kind of, <laughs> you know, which one I'm going to share, but then the other one is, uh, is yeah. Anyway. So uh, you had texted me, keep in mind, we hadn't met at this point for those of you that were watching, we had just been texting and, um, and you had said, is there an object that resonates with you? And I'm like, you know, typical musician, like, well, my songwriting journal or like my guitar or whatever. And you're like, nah, like I mean something else. And I was like, whatever. I like, I weirdly trust you already. Just do whatever. <laughs> and Dee Dee rolls up and I walk out of where I'm staying and she's like, buy her car. And she pulls out and she's like, so I saw this and, uh, and I hope you're okay. And she like pulls out like this long chain, like, chain link she was like um i don't want this to be weird but uh <laughs> i i feel like it like kind of conveys the feelings of like feeling weighed down by stuff and i was like i actually weirdly love it so let's do it so it was, was creepy couple... i had i had a okay i feel like if i got pulled over this would have been so 100 uh, i even had i even had a rope and oh, like, yeah, oh, that's right. I had that's ropes. Right. And they're not just, yeah. like, jump ropes or anything. Like, yeah. they were thick ropes. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't... I, like, Normally, like when said, someone, like, like, rolls up with chains and ropes, I would run the other way. But I like, know. But then my charm popped out, and I was like, okay, yeah. so what happened was... Um, yeah. No, I think the chains were just... Uh, 
like the guitar great you know i i love the guitar i love the mic but i don't know it's like i get it's you and i get it was music mm -hmm. but to me i just wanted a different object yeah um and like you said the chains i just felt like you were locked in um it was a tough time in your life and you just couldn't get yeah. out of them and yeah. that's where the chains kind of came from yeah um and one of the examples was one of my favorite rap artists is nf mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and his object if you look at most of his photos are black balloons mm. and i just love it um so yeah. that's kind of where i got the idea from yeah that uh that gave me a really good laugh and that was like okay not only does she like get it but she's all like I'm, I'm, unfortunately, all of the people that follow me on here are now like, why are we following her when we can follow Dee Dee? Because, like, it's real. <laughs> like, no. uh, you're, like, everyone that I talk to that are mutual friends of ours, like, they just have nothing but good things to say about you. And um, so disarming. But uh, so the other part of the New York thing, which I know I've mentioned to you, but I don't know if I've ever thanked you for it, is we were walking and you said, so what's the album called? And I was like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it was I was so like, hard. so you got an album coming up, but you have no idea. Like, it's kind of like going on Shark Tank and not even knowing what you're doing. Like, okay, us musicians are a weird breed. Okay, you gotta <laughs> you gotta respect the process. But, um, but you, we were just kind of talking, and, and you had asked me what what the point of the album is. Like, what do you want to get across? And I remember like spewing this really long thing and eventually i said something about like i want to convey that like the human condition is kind of that we're all um we're all broken but we don't really want to talk about it but if we would just be open with our brokenness we could probably just help each other out right um and then you looked at me and you're like that's the title i was like that's a long title <laughs> and uh, you're like no human condition and that actually started me on a different trajectory for the project uh we were writing a song called Human D Condition and we're still working on it, but I don't think it's going to make this cut. Um, but man, like just putting that in the the forefront of my mind, um, it's helped shape the project. And um, the project is now called Learn to Love. And I think uh, as I was talking about it with my sister, I was like, it comes from the song Learn to Love Myself, which is all about like identifying the things that you struggle with and like learning to like be okay with that uh, and to acknowledge it, but also like taking out the myself and just learn to love. Like, I hope that this project is uh, an insight into, into the human condition where like um, you learn to love other people better because of maybe being able to hear or feel um, or see something that they might under not understand. Uh, the the album is uh, n not depressing, but it's definitely very real. So it covers anxiety and depression and grief and loss and like messed up relationships and all of that. Um, but like, but here here's my thing about that. Like, that album is so real. But that's yeah. the thing. I'm sure there's a lot of people that can connect to that. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, it's, we're afraid yeah. to be vulnerable. You know? Yeah, and and that that viewpoint for me came from my conversation with you because as soon as we talked about that walking down Brooklyn streets, yeah, like, like where were we? I, I literally can visualize where we were. Uh, I wouldn't be able to tell I you the street. We were but... about to go into a church. Maybe we were. <laughs> I think that's what it was. I can't literally. remember. <laughs> Cause here's the thing, right? Like we did New York and DC and I can't remember where anything was. Right. I think there was a, I don't know, because there was definitely a church in D.C. too. Anyway. Uh, but anyway, uh, for those of you who will listen to this album, not only do you have Didi to thank for the photography, but also a lot of ways the direction uh, of it as well. And so, um, yeah, I don't I don't know if you want to say anything about that conversation or that idea. Um, yeah, I, I just, I just felt mind. like I just felt like you were yeah. in this bubble and you're trying to figure out you're like I, I have this idea I don't know how to put it it's like you know the human condition is just this and that and I'm like yeah. dude like there's your answer <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah and you're like what do you mean I'm like yeah you literally there's yeah. your answer <laughs> like, what, you're like I'll give simple, it you're like, I'll give it five more seconds like <laughs> literally a light bulb went off your mm -hmm. head and I mm -hmm. was like 
that's simple. Just keep it, yeah. keep it simple. <laughs> yeah. Um, so then we, then you edited, sent me back, and then I had a gig in DC, and uh, you were down there too, and we met up, and we did another set of photos. Um, funny story from that one is we we did almost get arrested. In fact, you just approached the cop car, and I was like, please be careful, like don't don't approach. We didn't we almost in- get arrested. We were just in an abandoned area. Let me let me sure. explain these stories. You got it. You got it. We were in an abandoned area, and uh-huh. it's all cool building as usual. And I was like, dude, we have to try and get in. <laughs> so there was a cop car sitting there. So I just politely went up to the window and I was like do you mind if we go shoot over here and she didn't care so that's true might as well ask you know yeah that's fair and uh but that barn was really scary like I wouldn't even step in more than a foot (laughs) yeah I I was a little worried yeah yeah I think while I was shooting I didn't even look into at the photo I just kept looking behind you I was like yeah, now that you say here. that, I didn't get any photos from that shoot. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, but then there was that abandoned building, and we walked in, and, like, it was, like, super, super sketchy, and there was one door that was open, but then right inside the door, there was a sign that said, like, help is not coming or something crazy yeah, like I that. I was out. Once I I've never, out. like... You ran so fast. <laughs> like, my coaches would be so impressed if they saw how quickly I move right now. Exactly. Ex- seriously, like, you booked it. And, uh, yeah, but, man, that's fun. We should – we need to shoot again soon once this is all over, but – Oh, yeah. Um, uh, so, I mean, yeah, I'm, what – I'm, like, I just want to – I just want to keep shooting. Like, I'm, yeah. I think I'm, like, obsessed with it, so – yeah well you're good at it too which is helpful (laughs) like it's not yeah like um do you want to tell people like like what you're up to like uh I know you made a little bit of a shift with your photography so you want to just kind of tell people what you're up to now with that yeah um I actually deleted my photography Instagram page okay I okay this is gonna (laughs) stir some trouble I know but um the area I'm going into that I'm starting to love is product and brand photography. Um, so I have a few deals um, that I'm trying to close right now. One of them that I have close on is with um, a sunglasses company, Far Out Sunglasses. Um, so I will be shooting their sunglasses either on people's faces. But in general, <laughs> I just thought it would be easier for me to merge everything onto my page um, that I'm on right now and just kind of keep it simpler um Mm -hmm. obviously i'm still creating a website right now but if people want um other things obviously i'm gonna do them um like i said the bridal shower um i would love to get into weddings i don't mind them but i'm not there yet so i'm gonna kind of put that weddings are a whole other level of pressure yes like i I don't want to deal with the weddings right now but yeah. I, um, I figured sports photography, concerts, mm-hmm. yep. um, product and brand photography. My mm-hmm. goal, I really want to go to like a festival, a music festival mm-hmm. with like different mm-hmm. colors and everything like that. I just like love. And um, I think yeah. that'll be awesome to do. Yeah. So where can people find you at uh, on social? And once your website is up, where will that be? Um yeah, website, I'm making it through Wix, but it's still not complete yet, so I will yeah. put that up another time. But on yeah. Instagram, Dedeeds, uh, D-I-D-E-E-D-S, um, Twitter, same thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Facebook is Dedeeds Photo. Um, so, yeah, you can find me there. So you kept the, the Facebook one up? I kept the Facebook one. Okay, good. They're not all gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, put, I'll, I'm posting them up on there, but... I don't know. I really like brand yeah. photography. I like close-ups. Yeah. I'm all about portraits and close-ups. So that's been, where you get the raw emotion of things. Yeah, yeah. And it's been really – so since Sky Blue, the soccer team that you play for has been, uh, like, on hiatus in a lot of ways. Uh, first of all, I love how they've been, like, pushing you guys to, like, stay involved. It was really cool that they started using yeah. some of you – because you room with another player. 
you live with another player and like the stuff that you guys were doing uh, specifically with your photography. Uh, it, it's just been really cool to see you really lean into that in this time off and, and find what is what you're most passionate about and, sure. uh, and go for it. So I think uh, Estelle has been very helpful. Yeah. My yeah. Teammate, uh, roommate, she has been my model pretty much for everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, man, like, it, you guys are like inseparable. I'm like, man, I wish, <laughs> wish me and my roommates were like that, man. But, nah, she's chill. She's a good person. Good person. Yeah, that's cool. Cool. Well, anything else you want to? I mean, we could literally just talk forever, but I know I I did actually have someone, um, a couple people actually, um, ask me if I sing, guys. Yo, give us something. I, listen, give us something. We, I'll get my we, guitar. We spoke, we spoke about this. <laughs> I can play the guitar, mm -hmm. but that's as far as I'm going. I don't. Yeah. These vocals only work when I'm yelling at my teammates. <laughs> that's pretty much where we're at with that. You would probably have like a really great like rasp to your singing voice after a game. You know, Childish Gambino, like... <laughs> uh, with yeah, Redbone. I can hit those yeah. high notes even yeah. a little bit. <laughs> That's awesome. Do you want to do you want to talk about what we're working on or do you want to keep that a secret for now? Yeah, go ahead. Shoot it. I I I'm not, I feel like I'm so random with you. I'll just text you be like, "Hey, got yeah. this idea. Here's what I'm thinking." Yeah. <laughs> so, if you yeah. want to share the story, go for it. Uh, yeah, so Didi had texted me. I don't even know when it was. It was so ran It was uh it was probably right around the beginning of this whole quarantine situation. You're like, hey, so do you, like, ever take writing and, like, put it to music? And I was like, yeah. She's like, poems. well, I've got a whole bunch. Yeah, poems. And she's like, well, I got a whole bunch. And I was like, okay, we'll work on it. And you, how many? You, there's, like, six? I sent, you, I sent you six, but those were, like, my full-length po poems. Um, okay. Is that your dog that I still want to pet and meet? Yes. Uh, He's <laughs> literally ramming into the door because I'm not letting him in here. <laughs> um, Bring him in. He's fine. Um, uh, you can oh, keep talking. Me. I'm listening. I'm listening. Continue. But I, like, want to see him because I love animals. And now I'm distracted. I'm sorry. Oh, my furball. I'm obsessed. Mm. <laughs> he does not Ooh. look happy. He's like, get me off this live thing. He literally hates cameras. Like, Zoom, he's not a fan of. He's also tired. It's close to his bedtime. Damn. But. All right. So where was I? Um, I would say, where was I? I just got sidetracked. Uh, you were talking about uh, your, your full length poems, the six. Oh, so yeah, I sent you like, poems. what? What did I send you? Like five or six full, my full mm -hmm. length poems. Mm -hmm. um, but I have like small one liners. Um, yeah. Because I feel like sometimes if people's attention span is very short. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, it's true. I, that's I, what makes songwriting difficult. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why I don't know. I just woke up one morning and I was like, I would like to put my stuff into use. And um, yeah, I just kind of sent you this text. Bye, dog. Love you. He's um, literally <laughs> biting my hand off. <laughs> um, and yeah, I just sent you a text, sent you my poems. Yeah. And I was like, is there a way we can turn some of this stuff into lyrics? Because yeah. I feel like music is poetic mm -hmm. poetry it, so literally yeah like my first song that I ever wrote was a poem that I that I put to music um but yeah it's been cool because you uh you might not like sing but you definitely like have a musical ear and taste and so like you know like what you want so you sent me a couple like artists and songs and it was so like because I had never heard of half of them before. And so like the the most recent one that you sent me, I forget what it was called, but, um, and the, and I appreciate it because the vibe that you want for these, uh, these poems that you wrote is slightly outside of my comfort zone. Like okay. I'm more of like, just slightly, don't, don't freak out. <laughs> She's like, I got to call someone else. I'm panicking. I'm going <laughs> to sing it. I'm going to do it all by myself. Absolutely. I'm just like sitting here in garage band, like just like, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> uh but uh yeah but i've appreciated it because um it's it's uh made me think about melody and, and we're very early in the process too like yeah. i don't we've only met like once to talk about it uh but uh yeah i just 
I thought that's so cool um, that you kind of made that leap too. And, and hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to sh share some of that, you know. I want to just come into your okay. studio. Yeah. And I just want to play the guitar and yeah. w watch it happen. Watch the song happen right there. Is he still? Yeah. <laughs> he's the, like, he's the best and the worst. <laughs> like so attached, which I love, but also I'm like, give me a breath please <laughs> well it's like having but, a child but not i dogs are better but yeah i didn't say that yeah do you do you want him you can have him. i, I <laughs> won't take any dog okay. i'm still trying okay. to like foster but my roommate oh. she won't let me because she doesn't like dogs you can't trust okay. people that don't like dogs what is that 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 that's fair i'll send you like a couple of pictures and videos of riley and you can just show them to her and be like he's coming for the weekend <laughs> no, she's, gonna, she's gonna be like all right well you can sleep outside then. <laughs> oh man damn awesome cool all righty awesome well this was fun uh also you have dd Dee Dee to thank for these instagram live conversations too <laughs> uh she was like anytime you wanna just, anytime I like just, you want to just love, like hang out I'm yeah just shooting it yeah literally yeah. shooting it and just talking yeah so. yeah yeah cool all right well uh like i said go follow dd and everything she's doing on socials look out for her website uh you'll be able to see some of her photography that uh that we well that she did i did nothing for them i just stood there just uh, but your concerts yeah yeah exactly once we're allowed to like be in groups of people again for sure. uh but anyway, go follow her, look out for her photography. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for being a part of the project and for jumping on here and talking for a bit. Uh, and hopefully I and Riley will see you soon. <laughs> Absolutely. Appreciate it. Take uh -huh. care, guys. Later. Yeah. See ya.